we are in the middle of a big clean out. This is the Ikea Lindman cage. You might have seen it from uh, Vanilla Ham Ham's uh, videos on how to make it. And this is actually what it's like to actually own one of these things. So if you've considered actually making one of those cages, this is what it's like to actually own it. So it is absolutely massive, just for scale. Uh, this is a dustpan and brush. I'm gonna put it in. Yeah, that's the size of the thing. It's huge, it's really, really big. The downside is that this is after a ye about a year of ownership. And even though you seal up the edges and the corners, it does start to get kind of messy um, and turn a bit brown. I tried so much, I tried cleaning it with all kinds of things to try and make it not like that anymore, but it is kind of like that. And unfortunately, whilst I was unwell, I was unable to clean out his cage and he decided not to pee in his toilet, but to pee in this corner. And it has turned it, and I'm gonna zoom in on this just to be so real with you guys. That's the extent of it. I'm trying my best to get it off. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of really quite stuck in there. So if you are going to make this cage, um, I would probably recommend one slight change is to perhaps like reseal every now and again, these like bits here, uh, because they do go kind of brown. Um, it, does, it has stopped the pee like going in between the cracks, but yeah, I would recommend resealing quite regularly to stop that. And also, if you are going to have this cage, um, clean it out quite regularly. Um, I was unable to uh, for a couple of weeks and he chose to pee in that corner. I couldn't really look after him whilst I was really sick because uh, I was, yeah, I was really sick. <laughs> uh, and he peed a lot in that corner and it has, it has really turned it brown and it's quite nasty. I have like sprayed it with like this pet safe spray. Um, this stuff is pretty good actually and it makes it clean and fresh. So I have, I have sprayed it with this, but it still is stained. So that is the downside of this cage. But I'm gonna fill this cage up now because Cloud is waiting to get back in. Um, and then you will see the positives of this cage because once I put everything in, you can't really see that brown patch and it's actually pretty good and I can't recommend a cage better than this one. This one is really good. Hey and we're back again. I have put everything into his cage now after thoroughly cleaning it all out and you can see the benefits right away. There are loads and loads of toys in here for him. He's got his little climbing frame, he's got his little bridge which I've put a treat on top of, he's got a tube to climb through and this massive wooden bridge um which he loves to to play on and underneath the bridge i have put another little toy um i'll talk about that in another video but it's another little toy and of course his really big wheel hamsters need big wheels so the really positive thing about having this ikea cage is that the wheel actually fits inside the cage um a lot of small hamster cages provide you with a wheel that is far far too small for your hamster particularly if you have a big Syrian hamster like Cloud so this massive cage allows you to put in all the toys that a hamster needs and have space for that big big wheel so that's the major plus of having a big IKEA cage like this one um, I've also got space for all his food water and his little house that he likes to sleep in so that is the major plus um, there's also space there for his toilet which I know it looks like I haven't cleaned but hamsters um, will not pee in there unless you put some of their old dirty bedding in it um, so yeah <laughs> uh, and cloud is a very special case so we're just gonna put cloud back in and see how happy he is okie dokies wow, for those Go. He's 
see, the immediate benefit is that he's not bored. Um, he's not trying to climb out. He's so happy in this cage. He's never tried to escape. There's no bar biting. Um, there's no, like, chewing excessively on bars or toys. There's no frustration here. He can happily explore and eat his food like he's doing now, filling up his pouches. Um, and that's the, that's one of the major positives, is that you can fit in so much stuff for him that he's never ever going to get bored, which is one of the things that lots of people don't realise hamsters do, is like they get bored, they have very small attention spans, they need to be entertained, they need like things to do, um, so putting them in a really small cage um, isn't going to help that. So the really big positive of this uh, IKEA linen cage is that your hamster is never going to get bored because you can fit in so many toys. Um, and you can also invest in some of the really big toys like this um, huge bridge. It's just a regular bendy bridge that I bought from Amazon. Um, but in this cage it will actually fit whereas in the smaller shop walk cages, oh he's just found his treat. <laughs> um, you won't get that. Um, you will not get that inside your cage. So that's a really positive. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, so uh, yeah, if you liked it, just uh, press the like button for me and subscribe because I might put up some other videos. Okay, bye!